Did you know you could connect Prometheus's Alert Manager to Discord? This video will cover how to connect Alert Manager to a Discord webhook where both firing and resolved alerts will appear in a server of your choice. We will display alerts related to a simple Express.js server that we run with Docker Compose. Now let's go ahead and define the Alert Manager container in our Docker Compose file. I'm going to make some space here by closing the terminal as well as the left sidebar. Let's go over to our Docker Compose YAML file. And under Grafana, let's go ahead and define the Alert Manager container. So we'll do Alert Manager. The image will be prom forward slash alert manager. And I'm going to use a specific version uh, just so that at the time of this video, things stay consistent. So 23, so 0.23.0. Next thing we're going to do restart on failure. Really, it's up to you on what the restart policy is. Uh, next, let's just expose ports. You don't have to do this, but it's just uh, if you want to see the UI. So it's 9093, 90.93. You can wrap it in quotes. You don't have to. Next, it's time to mount the volumes. So volumes, first one is going to be mounting our alert manager directory, which we haven't created yet. We'll do it after this. So we'll say alert manager We'll map that to config in the container. And then the next one will just be alert manager data to data. Let's go ahead and bring this up here so you can see it. Cool. Um, and then the command to run it will just be this. So uh, config.file. And that's going to point to config forward slash alert manager dot YML. Um, and then just so that the address is exposed everywhere, we just do cluster dot advertise address. And then that's uh, this IP address here. That's so that everybody can see it. And you can go to localhost 9093 when the container is running and you'll see stuff running. Cool. Um, at the bottom, let's go ahead and create a volume section. And then we're going to define our alert manager data volume here. And it can just be empty. We don't have to do anything. Okay, cool. Now let's go over to our alert manager file and define that. So remember, you got a volume section here. Go up to alert manager, you have something like this. And uh, yeah, you don't have to put the quotes here if you don't want to, so I'll just take them away for consistency. I have quotes everywhere and I have quotes and not quotes everywhere. So just to show you, it's however you want to do it. All right, now let's create a file in here in this alert manager directory called alert manager .yml. If you haven't created this directory, just go ahead and then make this empty YAML file. Inside, we're going to define our receivers for alerts, and it's just the the Discord webhook. So route, and then in here uh, receiver, in here receiver, uh, just Discord webhook. Uh, the repeat interval will set to be four hours. And what this means is that if the same alert is firing, we won't send another alert until four hours has passed. So you'll get pinged again if the alert's still firing the same one. Uh, group by. And what this does is uh, you can group different receivers by the type of alert. But we're going to send all the alerts to our Discord webhook since this is just for a tutorial. After the route section is done, after the route section is done, let's define the receivers. And then here we'll have a name. We'll give it the same name as this guy up here. So Discord webhook, like so. Um, and then inside webhook configs. This section is expecting a URL. So where we send the 
alerts to. So this is just going to be HTTP colon, and then the name of the Discord container, which we're going to define the Docker Compose YAML, Docker Compose YAML file right after this. So Discord alerts, and then that container is going to be on 9094. And this works because Docker can resolve this container to the actual IP address, so we can do this, and it's all good. Um, and then in front of that, just put URL. I forgot to do that. Um, just throw that into quotes for fun. Alert manager YAML is done. Alert manager container definition is done here. Now let's go ahead and add the bot which sends alerts to Discord. So we can give it the same name as we named here, Discord alerts. I'm just going to copy it. Like so. Discord alerts, and the image here is going to be this guy Ben Jojo forward slash alert manager Discord container name will be the same thing. Uh, the restart can be just like above on failure. Um, and then now it's time to define the environment variable, which will point the Discord alert manager to our Discord server. And right here we say Discord webhook is equal to, and then this is your webhook API URL, but I'm not gonna hard code it. Instead, I'm gonna do an environment variable, and then in a separate file, I'm gonna define it. So. Let's just call it Discord webhook URL like so. And then what you do is you can come over here. Sorry. Uh, let's close the other editors real quick. Um, I'm going to make a file called just a .m file. And in here, I'm going to define the Discord webhook URL right here. To get the webhook URL, go to your Discord server. On the left side, click your server name. Go to server settings. Go to integrations, webhooks, and then here's where you can create your new webhook. So you can change the bot to post to whatever you want. I'm going to post it to my dedicated channel for alerts, and I'll just call it my alert bot. Call it whatever you want, chicken sandwich, doesn't matter. Then grab your webhook URL by clicking this button and it'll be copied to your clipboard and you can paste it wherever you want. Once you get your webhook URL pasted in here right after the equal sign, and it'll look something like this. So the discord.com forward slash API webhooks, some number. So like whatever this is. And then after it'll be a bunch of text and some underscores like underscore whatever. Once that's pasted in, we can go back to our Docker Compose YAML file and it will automatically point to this URL value that we put in the .env. And then when we run everything, it should send the alerts to your server. One last thing before we test it all out, we have to go back into the prometheus.yml file, which is here in the Prometheus directory. And after the scrape configs, we need to add one more section called alerting. Now in here is where we're going to point Prometheus to the alert manager. So alert managers the scheme for communi protocol communication, HTTP, uh, static configs, and then in here, just one line targets, which will send all alerts from Prometheus to alert manager, is going to be alert manager 9093, like that. And you don't have to have a space around the uh, value here. Cool. I know I said one last thing, but this is the real last change. We're going to go into the alert manager.yaml file.yml file over here in the alert manager directory and we're going to add two lines to the route section. The first one is group wait and that'll be one second and then we're also going to do group interval which is also one second. And what this is going to do is it's going to have the errors propagate faster into Discord. 
There's some built-in waiting when there are multiple alerts buffered up that alert manager tries to avoid spamming. But since we're just trying to demonstrate the bot and do it quickly, I'm lowering these to you know the lowest value or something very fast. Okay, so with that done, let's go ahead and test it with Docker compose up, build of course. Once that's done building, let's go back to the Prometheus dashboard, refresh the page. There's no alerts active at this time. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the coins however many 20, 200, I don't know, million times. It takes quite a bit. It responds. Let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, cool, a lot of coin flips is firing. You just heard the Discord notification. Let's go check it out. There you go, it says an estimated that huge number coins have been flipped in the last minute. So you're like, oh man, we need to scale or something. Just an example alert. Now that alert resolves itself pretty quick because it's only a per minute basis. So if we go back to the alert manager dashboard, that value will decrease and we'll see a resolve message come into the Discord soon. While that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the Grafana container. You can see I've already been doing that in this terminal, but I'll just do it again. So docker stop Grafana is the command you want. Go ahead and run that. The container name in, in this case is Grafana, so docker knows which one I want to stop. Go back here, let's refresh. So while I stopped Grafana, we just got a notification, and that's that the alert resolved itself. See how it's saying it resolved in the, the banner here is green? Pretty cool. Now let's go back and we're seeing that this is a pending alert. Grafana is not running. The API is still running. I just refreshed it so it's going to alert again. See how it instantly alerted? Boom. That's how fast it's propagating to Discord. Pretty cool. We'll get an alert soon that Grafana is dead. In the meantime, I'm going to stop the coin API. So we'll also get an alert on that to test everything. Refresh the Prometheus dashboard. We can see that this is pending, but it's about to start firing once it gets to around 70. And there you go, look how fast it is. We go over here, container Grafana is not running. We can see that it's been down for more than 70 seconds. Pretty cool. And in parallel, the API is pending, pending an alert. And this should also be resolved. It's going faster than I can talk, but you can see that the coin flip server has resolved itself. The coin flip, you know, a lot of coin flips has resolved itself, which is cool. If I want to trigger that again, I can't because I killed the API. So now let's just wait on that last alert. And there it is. Refresh, you can see both are firing. Let's go to Discord and you can see now there's two firing alerts for container not running. There was one up here and it tells you what both of them are. It says it's been down for 71 seconds, coin API that is in Grafana now. Instead of being down for 71, it's been down for 132. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and start both containers back up and we'll see that it'll be resolved. Docker start coin API and Grafana. So, how about that? As soon as I started it up, the coin API was resolved first, since this was ran first. Then Grafana was still alerting as a firing alert. But then once it ran two, since these happened one after the other, we got a resolve notification for Grafana not running. If you change these rules in this file to not be one second, the notifications in Discord won't be as spammy, but I just had it be quick for demonstration purposes. Also, if you don't want notifications for resolved alerts, under the URL section in the webhook configs, just enter send resolved is false. And then your Discord bot will only send firing alerts. 
and you'll lose these green banners. So it's really a matter of preference, but I hope you learned something. Alert Manager and Discord webhooks, you love to see it.